Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Attorney Jack from CruiseCasinoMafia.com, and it is a bright and early Saturday morning uh, here in Raleigh. It's rainy, and it's not, not looking too good today, so it's a great day to get back to work uh, doing some simulations, uh, testing out new systems for Roulette and Baccarat, and today I'm going to give you guys, this is a free video, and it's something that I've been working on for a while. So it's not necessarily a system, but I think it's something that a lot of you guys um, will find interesting. So where did this come from? So the concept is really simple. A lot of times people really love roulette or Baccarat systems, but they think that the two are so different, the games are so different that they can't see um, how one relates to the other. So I'm going to, I'm going to do something today that you guys have maybe uh, never seen and just to introduce a concept, which is what I really try to do here on the YouTube channel is to not spoon feed you everything, but to open your mind to ideas that you can then take and run with and test. So where did this come from? Uh, I was on a cruise in the summer. I guess it was in the summer, the end of the summer. I guess it was September on uh, leaving out of Florida, a seven-day cruise. And there was a bit of frustration in the casino because uh, on that cruise ship, and I'm assuming this is true about all uh, Royal Caribbean, but I don't know. And I can't tell you what it's like with the other cruise lines. But I was really excited to not just play roulette, but I was excited to play Baccarat as well. Unfortunately, they did have Baccarat, but the table minimums were so high that they were basically pushing people out of the game. Uh, it was a $100 minimum. So basically what they were saying is we really don't want you to play Baccarat. Okay. And that's true as well. If you go to Las Vegas nowadays... Um, you will see that there's, other than Stadium Baccarat at like uh, Palace Station or uh, Venetian or Gold Coast, and there's a few others, but other than those few, uh, the, the limits for Baccarat are relatively high. So where does that leave you if you go on a cruise and you can't play Baccarat and that's really your main game, right, or something that you look forward to? Well, I'm going to give you uh, a little bit of an idea as to what I've been able to do. And I don't really see anybody talking about this too much. So some of the systems uh, that you see on YouTube as well as our channel publicly, and of course our private casino vault for people that have joined our private team at CruiseCasinoMafia.com, have some amazing systems that were specifically designed for Baccarat. And a lot of times we're taught that those systems are only for Baccarat. And in my experience on the cruise ship, as well as some other situations, I have thought about it and said, well, why can't I use any of those systems on roulette? Well, the first thing you want to know is, well, okay, so why would I want to do that? Well, obviously one reason is because most of the time you can find a roulette, um, a roulette table that's far less money minimums to play. OK, so the outside bets are only five dollars each. And if you're playing online, obviously you can go down to around 50 cents. So what would be the re what would be another reason for wanting to look at Baccarat systems that you're really comfortable with and really love and try to implement them on roulette? Well, uh, a few different things. Uh, there's more roulette tables live in most casinos than there are Baccarat tables. So you can get on a roulette table much easier and quicker. Second reason that some people will tell you is that roulette is a 24-7 game. There's no stopping for a new shoe and uh, shuffling or waiting for the shuffle machine or whatever nonsense it may be. It's an ongoing 24-7 game, which gives us many, many more opportunities to keep rolling. The second thing, which I can definitely tell you, is a pain in the ass in Vegas. And this was one of my pet peeves. I don't know if I've said this live or not. So I love Baccarat, right? But there are negatives to Baccarat, just like there are any other games. You have to wait in between each shoe. And the other situation is, 
a lot of systems that I play and that we teach, you, you really want to start at the beginning of a shoe and you want to end before the end of the shoe. That doesn't sound like a big deal until you do it live. And let me tell you what that means. When you do it live, you're waiting a lot. You're sitting at the stadium Baccarat and waiting for a new shoe. Then you make your you make your units possibly and you jump out of the shoe. Now you're waiting another 30, 45 minutes for another shoe. So the amount of action, the amount of investments we can do with Baccarat is limited. No matter what you do, you seem to be waiting a lot. Whereas with roulette, yes, I know in between each spin, they have to clear out the chips, but that's nothing compared to the weight between shoes with Baccarat. So there are some advantages. The, the disadvantage, everybody knows the disadvantage, right? If you're playing in the United States, you're usually playing with a zero double zero wheel. And the odds are different because if the zero and the double zero come up, Basically, unless you have a system that you're using those, you're going to lose your money. Whatever you bet is gone. Whereas in Baccarat, that doesn't really happen, right? Because we have a tie, which basically is no win, no loss. Okay, so we don't lose any money. So we know there, there's an odds difference, okay? But we're going to put that aside because if you have a quality system, okay, and I'm not going to get into a debate with this, I'm not telling you that roulette is the same numerically as Baccarat. All I'm saying is if you have a quality system, you can overcome any of these odds. And that's a video for another day, which we'll do. Uh, but I don't let the, the odds stop me from making money at a game, unless the odds are uh, unbelievably ridiculous. And neither one of these games has caused an issue for any of our team members making money. So I'll leave it at that. So the other, the other reason that roulette is interesting when looking at it as from the same lens as Baccarat is because, and don't ask me why this is, but there does seem to be uh, more erratic outcomes in roulette than there is in Baccarat. And depending on the type of system and bet selection you're using, that actually is a plus. Okay, that's actually a plus. Now, some people will say that they've seen more streaks on uh, roulette than they do on Baccarat, right? More streaks or sticks, as, as, as some people call them in Baccarat. I don't know if that's true or not, and I'll tell you why. Because if you look at the screen, we all know that even money bets, we have multiple even money bets in roulette, right? We have an even odd combination. We have red, black, and we have... Uh, the 1 through 18 and the 19 through 36. These are all quote-unquote even money bets. Whereas in Baccarat, we have two things, banker or player. So I think our brain wants to tell us sometimes and make up things that's not really true. And here's the, here's the crazy thing. I'm going to introduce to you now something that most people have never seen. And when you do what I'm telling you, and when you try this, you are going to be amazed at how similar in many ways if you're visualizing the results correctly. So here we go. So remember, there's no starting shoe and ending shoe in roulette, which is a definite plus. You decide to end and start whenever you want, okay? So let's say you walk over to the table, all right? Now, I'm going to show you this. Let me, let me show you something here. First, you know, whoops, I'm sorry. First, you know that mo it doesn't show it in this simulator, but most of the time what you see is the scoreboard, right? Which is just a left to, uh, a top to bottom scoreboard when you walk over to a live roulette wheel. And it basically shows the numbers, which of course tells you any of these things as well, whether it's red or black or even or odd. But there is no score card, right? We don't have a score card like we do in Baccarat, all right? And we certainly do not have a bead road, right? And that is the little secret I'm going to show you. When you practice this, you are going to see things that you never thought possible in roulette. So let's, let's go ahead. First of all, let's show you guys, if you're new to the channel and you don't even know what Baccarat is, I'm not going to go through a whole tutorial, 
but I'm going to show you something so you you have a reference. So in Baccarat, this is the bead road. This is a visualization of each result, and it goes top to bottom, top to bottom. There's six results in each row, okay? So in Baccarat, we have banker, player, or tie. That's it, all right? This is the standard scoreboard that you will see everywhere, okay? You won't always see the bead road everywhere for some reason. That always bothers me. But uh, Gold Coast doesn't show this when you're playing on the stadium Baccarat. Actually, is it Gold Coast that doesn't show it? One of them doesn't show it, either either uh, uh, Power Station or Gold Coast. I can't remember which one. But everybody shows this, okay? Everybody shows this. So let's deal a few hands, and I'm going to show you what we're going to mirror here, okay? So that you guys have something to, to compare it to. And if you're a roulette player and not a Baccarat player, I want you to see what the Baccarat player sees that you're not seeing. And this is so fascinating. It changes the entire way of looking at this at, at roulette. Okay, let's keep going. Let's do a few more of these results. And I did, I'm doing this just to show you guys what the scoreboard looks like. Okay, I guess that's probably enough. All right, so now let's look at the scoreboard for Baccarat. All right. So first, let's look at the bead road. So there are multiple um, different formats or different uh, bet selection systems that we have in our private area of cruisecasinomafia.com. We call it the casino vault. Some of these are based on the bead road, and a lot of them are based on the regular scoreboard. And you can look at the last few uh, systems that I put up, free systems here on the channel, and you'll see a couple of different systems that we put up, one using the bead road, I believe, and then another one with the scoreboard, the more recent one. So the, the way that the regular scoreboard works, all Baccarat players know this, is that what happens is here is a player. That was the first result. If we would have gotten another player, then it stays in the same row, the same way that this is, okay? But if we flip-flop or we chop, right, you know, we chop back to the other side like we did here. We went from a player to a banker. So when it flips from one side to the other, it just goes to the right. You see that? But when you have a string of consecutive bankers or players, it goes down the same row. So here we had four in a row. And then all of a sudden, the next result was a player. So it started back at the top and we had two, we had three of those in a row, right? And then we had a banker, and we had three of those in a row. You see how that works? And it works across vertically, all right? And, uh, and, and here again with the bead road, this is just from the top to the bottom. So this is the same exact result, but visualized in a different way, right? Player, banker, 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 player. Then we're back up at the top. Player, player, banker, banker, banker. And every six, we start on the new row. So there are multiple bet selections that we have provided on this channel, and of course other channels do, that use either the bead road or this. But the problem when you play roulette is that none of that visualization is available to you. So many of the systems that utilize the actual visualization okay, as the bet selection, this indicates where we're going to bet, this indicates where we're going to bet, people d don't even fathom to think about the even money bets in roulette the same way, okay, I hope everybody understands what I'm saying, and what that means is you are losing out potentially on really cool bet selections that work really well in Baccarat, that guess what? After privately testing, some of these work really, really well in roulette. And you get the advantage of not having to wait forever between uh, shoes because it's ongoing. Okay? I know we're giving up something because of the zero and double zeros. Okay? So put that aside for the moment. That's not what we're talking about. All right. So what does this actually look like? This is so cool when you do this. So let me show you 
what I've created. And you can create this on an Excel spreadsheet, a grid, anything you want, okay? You can do this. So here, here is just a quick version that I've created. So this is my version of the bead road, right? Six down and I don't know, nine or 10 across. This is more like the regular scoreboard, six down and whatever. Now these you can get for free when you're in the live casino at the Baccarat tables, they will give you this for free or you can just create your own. So let me show you what this looks like. So um, let's just decide we can do anything we want here, right? We can do even odd, red, black. That's what makes this a little different also uh, with, um, with roulette. So let's just go ahead and do red, black, just because that's the easier one, right? So let's go ahead, and it doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to spin. I don't think we have to bet the spin on this simulator. Okay, so the number is 14, right? So let's just show you what that looks like, okay? That's a red, right? That's a red. So let's put red there, okay? And that's a red here. So let's put red here. And you're going to be amazed because most people have never looked at roulette using Baccarat visuals, how this plays out. So let's do a whole bunch of these because that's the point is to show you that so many of the things we teach can be used in both. So that's another red. So again, on the bead road, we're just going down. Okay, and I can color these in or whatever. I'm going to do this quickly. So on the regular scoreboard, we know when we get the same thing, we're going down. So this is going to be another R. Okay. Let's keep going. And it's going to open your brain. Look at that. Three reds in a row. Okay. This is going to open your brain to looking at some of the systems we've teach, uh, taught and things that you've seen. I think that was a third red, right? Yeah, one. Um, and say, wow, I wonder what my system would look like, whatever that is, using it in roulette. All right, so those are three in a row. And it's also going to give you a way better visual um, to see the streaks and the chops that you've never looked at this way in roulette. And it's mind-blowing to open your eyes to this. Okay, that's a, whoop, I thought it was a 20, but I guess it jumped. So that's a zero. So we're not going to put the zeros down. The same way, even, I know it's a loss. I know it's a loss. Um, but for right now, we're not going to put a zero down. We're just going to leave it. You, you can put an, uh, a line through it. Um, cause I know we do, we do usually show it. So you can put something here like, um, like a dash and a zero, zero, if you want to do that, it's up to you whether that matters to you or not. Right? So if you want to show everything, you can do that. Okay. You can do that. All right. So here we go. Let's keep going. And that's a black two right? That's a black two. So uh, on the bead road, we're just going to continue here, right? Because we go down six. But on this, just like a Baccarat, that means we've shifted from the red uh, to the other side. So we have a chop now, right? A chop, what we would call a chop in Baccarat. So now see how that looks now, just like Baccarat. You had three down and now you have one up. Right. So if you were playing a system right now, like we showed recently, where when it's a row one, we look for the chop, we would be betting red. But I just want you to see the visualization. All right. That's all that I'm doing right now. I'm not trying to show you a system. So let's keep going. All right. 15. We have another black. So that's going to be there. We have a black, which means that is uh, going down because it's the same thing, right? So we have, if you were looking at this like Baccarat, right? You have a three stick or a streak and now a two streak back to back. So let's see what happens. It's going to completely change your way of looking at even money bets on roulette if you're a Baccarat player. So here we go again. That's a black number. So again, we're going down right? So we had a three and a three. 
um, and that should be a black there, right? So we just ended the bead road here. So now we're going to be starting up here on the next on the next result on the bead road. And I really love this. Um, you, this is only part of the puzzle, right? When you start looking at some of the Baccarat stuff that we've done for free on the channel, as well as the paid um, systems for people that are members, you're going to be blown away when you see what you can do with roulette. All right, 25, that's a red. So we chopped back over here. So we would have won that bet if we were using that uh, system that we did lately where the first, you know, we were looking for the chop. All right, so let's put the bead road up here. That's a red. And let's, let's keep going. And let's make this thing look like Baccarat, right? That's the point. All right, another red. So here we go. That's another red. And that's another red. All right, so, so far, you see how sticky this is, right? So if we were looking at this like Bakker, would say, wow, look at this, a three stick, a three stick, and now a two stick. So let's see, let's see how it, how it pans out. Okay, we're back to black. So we did chop. So on the bead road, we're going down, right? We're going down. And here we're chopping back up, all right? So we have a three, a two, and a one, kind of a triangle looking thing, right? So does this mean that we're gonna now start to chop back and forth? Who knows? But what a different way of looking at roulette, right? There's that dreaded zero again, and those are gonna happen, right? We know that. So we're gonna put that little uh, thing there so we know that there was a zero, and we're just gonna keep rolling. Okay, another red. So we are chopping here. We are starting to chop, right? Chopping here. And let's see if we get a long chop run here. Um, okay. Let's see here. Thirty-four. Red. No, we do not. Because now we have a terrible two going on. We have a red here. Okay. And we're almost at the bottom of this bead road. But you wouldn't believe what happens when you start playing roulette using some of the Baccarat uh, systems and methodology. There's another red. My mind was blown the first time that I realized that you could actually do this. Okay. Okay. And it's not about the, it's not about my mind is blown. These are even money bets, right? Same as Baccarat. It's the visualization that I'm talking about, the usage of the bet selection. Okay, so we finished another bead road here, right? So we have plenty of bead road systems that we've been using, right? Here's three reds in a row, right? So, so red is dominant. So you would have played red and you would have lost here, right? You would have lost these three, okay? Here's three uh, blacks in a row. You would have played black as dominant, and you would have won on your third bet. So there's all kinds of things that you can do. All right? There's all kinds of things you can do here. Um, did I put that one in? I think I did, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. And if I did make a mistake, guys, you know what I always tell you. It's hard for me to focus and do this at the same time. Um, so hopefully I, 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 I'm showing you guys correctly and I'm writing them down right. But you're getting the general idea. All right, another red. So what are we seeing here? What we're seeing here is this, this quote unquote, I almost said shoe. How do you like that? But looking at it almost like a shoe, right? What are we seeing? First of all, we're seeing a lot more reds than blacks, right? Reds dominant. But from the visualization point of view, we're seeing that things are lasting more, that this is more of a stick than it has been a chop. We've only seen a few chops, right? We've only seen this, and we haven't even seen a straight chop. This is a two with a one, right? A two following a one. And now we're in a streak again. 
So that's kind of crazy. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, so let's see. So are we seeing that this specific segment of roulette right now is more streaky than choppy? Yes. Okay, so we finally chop back to a black. And here's our black. Let's keep going. I want to do a bunch of these so you guys get the feeling and have a look as if this was Baccarat. 25, that's always my lucky number. That's my birthday. Okay, so that's a red. And there you do. That's a, that's a real chop. That's a real chop. All right. This opens the door, what I'm showing you, to look at roulette in a totally, look at that, back-to-back -back 25s. How do you like that? That's pretty crazy. All right, well, so we're not chopping anymore, right? We're going down now, right? It's a stick. It's sticky or streaky or whatever you call it, right? All right, so let's do another. Let's do a few more. But when you do this on your own, you're going to see how much your Baccarat bet selections play out in roulette. Okay, so that's another red. This is very streaky and very red dominant now remember we know with um we know in baccarat that the rules favor the banker that's why the, that's why you pay that little commission to be on the banker side when you win and the rules do not favor black over red in roulette hint hint so that's another thing that no one seems to talk about as much that's all they want to talk about is the zero and the double zero but I will tell you, and I don't want to say too much about it here, but I'm doing a lot of work on that. If you play Baccarat Live and you really focus, you will see the crazy math and what that does um, while you're playing the game live with who's getting a card and who isn't. One of the benefits to roulette is that there is no, there is no rules favoring black or red. So think about that for a minute and think about what that means for systems that are looking for more randomness and chops. I'm not going to say anything more publicly. Let's just say there's a gold mine of information on what I just said. All right. And if you want to know more, you've got to be a member of CruiseCasinoMafia.com where we're going to be going into this in depth over the next few weeks. All right. So we get another red and another red. Wow, look how streaky this is, right? Okay. Pretty much an eye opener, guys, that you can do this. All right, that's black. So we did chop back over finally to the top of the scoreboard and of course to the top of this scoreboard. Okay, all right, let's just do a few more and then we'll wrap this up because I think I've got my point across as to what you guys should be trying and and getting a feeling for okay it's another black so here we go again no prolonged chops here look at this no prolonged chops almost every time we've had a row one or a single we've gone to a double one two only two times did we continue to chop all right so that's a second black right yeah there we go. All right. Let's do a few more quick ones. All right. That is, whoops, what was that? Red? That's red. That's a red. And now we do go back to the top and we chop back to the red. I'll do three more. And while we're on the topic, so our big Black Friday sale on the membership is over, but you guys can still take advantage of the Mafia and the number 50, Mafia 50 promo code if you have not joined yet, cruisecasinomafia.com for our private tutorial systems and methodology. Um, and I'm gonna tell you this, we are gonna be changing, I know I've said it before, uh, the lifetime membership thing is going to uh, is going to change uh, soon. So, if you want to take advantage, that's a red. 
if you want to take advantage of this ridiculous opportunity, get in and get everything we give for that one price for the rest of your life or the rest of my life, I guess I should say. Um, now is the time to do it. And with the amount of systems and documents we currently have, uh, where is that? The amount of systems and documents we currently have, you are literally playing, paying pennies per document system or methodology at this point. Because as we move forward, we're adding more and more stuff, one to, three, two, one to three things a month. So when you look at that and see what you're getting for the one-time fee, it's ridiculous. So I can't continue to do that forever. Um, now we are getting the chop here. You see that? We are actually getting a longer chop. All right. Let's do two more, and then we'll just take a quick look at this. So I would highly recommend anybody that wants to jump into 2024 because we've really just been scratching the surface on what we're going to be bringing out um, in this first year of being out there publicly. All right, I guess that's, uh, you know what, we'll do one more just because I'm addicted to, to doing this with the roulette. It's, it's really fascinating to look at roulette like this. Okay, that's another black. So here we go with a three again. And there's another. Okay, so wh what's the point here? What is the point? The point is that if you cannot play Baccarat due to the table minimums, or if you want, if you're, if you are a roulette player and don't really like the game of Baccarat for whatever reason, do not feel that some of the Baccarat systems are not for you. Uh, they are for you. They are for you. And this is the conversion technique that I want people to start understanding because no one is teaching this. All right. Um, you can see in the time that we played here that there were two zeros that came out. OK, so you would have lost those. Right. Oh, I never put the other zero in the, in the bid, but it, in the uh, bead row, it doesn't matter. But there were two zeros here. Okay, you would have lost those, which you would not have lost. It would have been a tie if it was if it was a tie in the game of Baccarat. No big deal. All right, that's par for the course. That's the way it is. All right, um, but this is the visualization. And again, you can you can make the reds. You can color these in red. You can color these in black or blue, whatever you want. If you're using red and black, now that's the other thing I want you to know. The other incredible thing with roulette is I'm using the red and black. You could be using the even and odd. Okay, it's the same thing. You could be using the 1 through 18 and the 19 through 36. So what roulette gives us is all of these combos, right? These four combos down here of even money bets, whereas Baccarat only gives us the two, bank or player. So there's a lot that you can think about there too, all right? Let's say that you're playing a system that's really tight. Let's say that your system is not an every bet, so every every bet, that you're not betting every time. And a lot of the stuff we do has that, uh, that, that feeling, right? Where you're waiting for something. You're waiting for a trigger maybe. Maybe you have a Baccarat system that, um, that only waits for, let's take a look. That only waits, let's say you only play uh, when there's a three down, okay? When there's three down on the regular scoreboard, like this, like this, like this, this, and this, right? Let's say you had some kind of a system that triggers only on the three, maybe, okay? Or something else. Um, here's the deal. You have more than one opportunity. You can double up on your opportunities in roulette where you can't do that in Baccarat because you can use this same thing. You can create a paper where you have three of these, right? And you can, you can chart the red and the black on one. You can chart the even and the odd on another. And that system can now give you multiple opportunities to bet. So do you understand that there's a lot of interesting things when, you're, when you can wrap your brain around this that you can do with roulette that you can't do with Baccarat, all right? Yes, you're giving up the zero double zero story, okay? But I don't think that's enough to throw it away. I don't think that's enough to discount what I'm telling you, all right? Um, so 
do this. Don't worry about a bet selection. This is what I would tell you guys to do. Create your own one of these, right? Do this and just chart. And I don't care whether it's red, black, even odd, both, whatever it may be, okay? But get a feeling for what roulette looks like using the bead road and using the regular scoreboard. And then take a deep breath and go back to the systems that you have found that you like or look at our channel and rewatch those videos and see if they are systems that in Baccarat that we've taught you or shown or demonstrated that you can potentially use for roulette. Uh, Cruise Casino Mafia players, obviously, we have those private systems in the back for Baccarat. So if you've only been looking at the roulette systems we have, guess what? This is going to open the door for you to look at that, look at look at the uh, Baccarat systems to play roulette if you're strictly a roulette player. There is a lot of meat here. There's a lot of interesting things here. And again, I'll say it one more time, there is no wacky rules that make black or red better than each other or even or odd. Whereas we see some crazy things when you play Baccarat because of who's able to get a card because the rules favor the banker. So there's a lot of interesting stuff going on here for you to take a deep breath. It's the weekend. I've given you guys some homework. I've given you guys something to think about. You can go on. You can forget about this if it's not for you. But if you're one of those people like most of our private members, you're going to take this information and you're going to say, very interesting. Let me see what the visualization looks like. Let me see what roulette looks like on the two different Baccarat scorecards. All right. And there's a lot of great bet selections using the bead road. Right. We, we've shown you over the last six months of our version of a mirror, no mirror strategy. We've shown you the dominance lately. You know, the three R's, the, the, you know, there's three R's. You want to bet for an R. There's three B's, whatever's dominant. We've shown multiple block strategies. And if you go back to one of our most popular videos, uh, the five pattern deal, guess what? The five pattern deal is here, too. Right. Now, uh, I'm not as much of a fan as I was back then of analyzing the five pattern because what we do nowadays is usually turn the five pattern into a three pattern because we'd rather bet uh, using money management that's strictly a three bet money management as opposed to the crazy Grand Martingale five. But that doesn't mean you can't look at the bet selections that use the five pattern and only bet three. Hint, hint. So go back and look at some of those Baccarat strategies and now try to uh, see how they work out in roulette. But before trying to jam those things in, just practice taking roulette strategies and putting them into this visualization. And that's it for today. I hope you guys got, guys got a lot out of this video. It's one of my favorite topics lately. Um, this is something that I, and, and the reason for this is Many people go on cruises, and that's part of our audience, right? Are people that go on cruises or visit uh, their local casino where they can only play the electronic roulette machine because of the minimums, or they can only play uh, roulette because of the Baccarat massive minimums. We are giving you an opportunity to turn one thing into the other and to kind of think about it and see if it works for you. It has worked for us. That's all I can say. And we can continue to go down this path a little bit. So when we're doing Baccarat videos, um, in the back of your mind going forward, you should now, it should trigger you to say, I wonder if this works in roulette. All right. And that's the way to do it. Obviously, roulette has multiple different types of bets. So we're not talking about the dozens or the, or the columns here. Uh, or inside numbers. We're strictly talking about the even number, even payout bets down here. 
And that's it for today. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope this triggers you to do something interesting and simulate some really cool games this weekend. We'll continue to have some other videos on this subject, and I'll bring it up when we're doing systems. I do have another interesting roulette video, straight roulette video coming up. I don't know if I'm going to get to it over the weekend or on Monday. We'll see how things are going and what the weather's like here in Raleigh. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing great. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. And remember, guys, bet selection is always fun, but the key is proper money management. Take it easy. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.